Welcome to Thrifty Garage. Uh, in today's episode, I'm going to replace uh, my multimeter. Uh, for those that haven't seen it, I've got this electric uh, rat trap that I used, and I uh, used this multimeter to test uh, this trap. In doing so, I, I fried my meter. So this, this meter I've had for uh, probably 15 years. I purchased this from Walmart. In the mail, I received this uh, coupon flyer. And it, with that is a free with any purchase super coupon, uh, and it's the Centec 7 function uh, digital multimeter uh, compared to Home Depot at 1351. So I'm going to go pick up one of these today and uh, see how it compares. So here's this old multimeter. This is a DT830 digital multimeter. I'm not sure what brand this is. I had a hard time seeing on here what brand it might be. So this multimeter's uh, done really well for me. I believe it's got a nine volt battery inside of it. Um, it's ran out of batteries a few times. I may have replaced the fuse once or twice. I don't even know if I've done that. So it's, it's been really reliable, really good for me. I'm kind of curious whether these leads will fit in the Harbor Freight version. Uh, the Harbor Freight version looks very much uh, similar to this. We'll see what they look like side by side. Back from Harbor Freight, I picked up this uh, multimeter, got this for free, and uh, wandered around the store for a bit. I took my, uh, my kids with me, and we walked around, and uh, I really couldn't find anything I really wanted, so I ended up, uh, they've got a little kid section. I found this, um, uh, this little kid's puzzle. Out uh, of wood, wooden puzzle kits. So let's go through this receipt here. So this uh, wooden puzzle was a buck ninety-nine regular price with a twenty percent off coupon that brought it to a buck fifty-nine. Uh, the multimeter here uh, was on sale, I believe, regularly seven ninety-nine and on sale at five ninety-nine uh, with the coupon that was free. And then uh, with tax it was eleven cents for a total of a dollar seventy. So I basically bought this for a buck seventy and got the multimeter free. So like I said, I, I really kind of wanted the store for a while. I didn't want to spend too much. You know, two dollars was uh, kind of the price range I was going there for. I didn't want to spend any more than I would have regularly on a multimeter, and that's really what I went to the store for. And I just couldn't find anything in the two dollar range I really wanted. Uh, I thought about getting some uh, flashlights, which I've got a handful of their flashlights right here. So they had a, a I think it was a two pack for three bucks. Or, or a one pack for two bucks. Um, but I, I've got a handful of those flashlights and they always break on me, they always stop working. Uh, so I was like, I don't want to buy that. And so, you know, my kids were kind of, uh, it was right after Halloween, so my kids were a little bit uh, tired and ornery and thought maybe I'd get them a wooden set. Okay, let's do like a little unboxing of this Harbor Freight one. This is the item number 90899. Um, and the coupon showed quite a few numbers that were available and they had quite a few different versions on the shelf so I'm not sure what the differences are in those item numbers. Pull this out, we got uh, the two leads. One difference I noticed right off the start is the on off switch. On this one the off switch is up top and then it uh, is on whenever it's anywhere else and in this Harbor Freight version it's got an on off switch on the bottom here. So uh, DC current Harbor Freight goes a thousand. The Walmart does starts at 500. Um, Harbor Freight does not have a 500, but goes right to 200, and then is uh, the same throughout through there. As far as resistance, so that's the same. Um, the diode uh, polarity test is the same there. I'm not sure what this HFE is. I'm not seeing that on this one. We've got a nine volt battery and a one and a half volt battery. Uh, this has a 10 amp. And then we go around to the range. Sorry, this is the volt voltage. This is amps. So again, this one has one more option there. In the alternating current, the ACV, we got 750 and 200. We've got 500 and 200. So a couple different uh, reading ranges. Um, I'm not sure what this thing is. If that's just a, a vent. Uh, these symbols all look very similar. We got the amps up here and the volts and the ohms down below the bottom here. Here's the back side. Uh, a lot of the same warnings on the back on both of these. 
So as far as the leads go, Harbor Freight ones are a little bit less protected. Those will, those will not swap straight over. The Harbor Freight ones might fit in there. What's our, our lead length on these? Harbor Freights are about six inches shorter. So we got uh, maybe eight inches shorter of the Harbor Freight ones. And as far as uh, the leads, so these Harbor Freight leads are very plasticky. Um, these ones from Walmart are a little more rubbery. I definitely prefer the, the Walmart version. Okay, well, let's go ahead and uh, try this out, see if it works. Um, got a wall outlet right behind me. This is alternating current. So you can see there we've got 121. These bottom ones. So yeah, that uh, seems to work all right. Weight-wise, you know, it actually, it's substantially lighter than this Walmart version as well. So that's interesting. Here's a look at that puzzle for those that might be interested. I'm gonna go ahead and give this to my kids and let them play with it. Uh, thanks for watching uh, all the way through today. I really appreciate it. Uh, I enjoy doing these videos and sharing my experiences with others. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, you know, obviously hit the like button. Uh, and also if you wanna check out some of my other videos and, and even subscribe, I'd uh, enjoy that as well. Thanks for watching. Well, that's a good way to, to break it in, drop it right on the floor. Well, as I'm out here in the garage doing this uh, most recent video, uh, sitting around kind of just thinking, and uh, it's 9 o'clock, but I think I'm going to start tearing down this wall.